Hello everybody, Apple Jew here uh, with my very first VOD Overwatch review. Um, so this is an experiment. I am not good at video editing at all. I'm literally hitting a stop record button over here and then hitting stop record button after I'm done. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is going to be, if you're, if you're here for the high quality production value, you've probably come to the wrong place but um anyway uh just to preface a few things i am a platinum uh I, I consider myself a platinum player um my high is diamond um i hit diamond last season um just for a brief minute and uh i main mostly supports but uh this season i have uh been determined to learn how to flex into any role any position and it's become kind of my new calling card um i encourage my friends i'm going to be encouraging people that i review to flex into roles that they may not be comfortable with but just like riding a bike you no one knows how to ride a bike right off the bat you've got to practice you got to learn you got to try it um so yeah um my reviews are mostly going to be about your the person that I'm reviewing their play. Um, I'm really not going to call out too often the if anyone on the team is having a really good play or a really bad play or whatever. Um, but uh, because ultimately, if I'm going to help people with competitive, I am going to have to help you as an individual get better and. As we all know, with competitive, you cannot make your team play better or worse. Well, you can make them play worse by tilting them or being toxic to them, but you really can't make them play better. Um, you can't suddenly make your Hanzo turn into Raxu. You can't suddenly make your Diva or Zarya turn into Emong. It's just not going to happen. You can't turn a plat player into a pro player by talking to them or by suggesting this out of the other so um again this is all about just examining the individual playing and what i think you could do better point out mistakes point out things that you do well and uh, hopefully be semi-entertaining maybe um so anyway my first video that i will be reviewing is of my good friend kent hyde uh, we were doing a 6v6 uh, pug, which is not the dog. It is the thing known as a pickup game. Essentially, it is competitive rule sets with friends. And um, without the loss or gain of SR, it's a really, really fun way to uh, kind of have a friendly, friendly banter, uh, learn how to play the game in a way that you may have not have learned before. And generally speaking, as long as you have good friends, uh, there should be a very small chance of toxicity or saltiness or tilting. So it should be all about having fun. Um, but it doesn't mean that we can't review it. We can't go back and see what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. So with that, I'm going to switch over to the VOD and then uh, we will get this going. So. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go full screen on this bad boy here. All right, so, um, small thing, I am on the enemy team in this game. Uh, so that is fun, that is exciting. Um, oh, and I almost forgot. I need to get my, you guys are gonna see my, my desktop. I need to get my pen up though. All right, get that bad boy up there. Let's go full screen, put my pen up here. All right, so, we are on the Ilios, and I believe the first map is Ruins. Um, this team consists of uh, Kent Hyde, which his name in Overwatch is Draco Storm. Um, my good friend, The Great Haley. Uh, another really good friend, Cyborg Pizza, AKA Anna. Uh, White Star, one of my good friends named Alex, uh, is Rever, and Tom. So, uh, Good friendly bunch here. Just as an FYI, uh, there are three streamers on this team in this voice chat. So things might get a little hectic in terms of communication. You might hear people making call outs. You might hear some notifications pop up on the screen, things like that. 
So just be aware that, you know, um, there might be a lot of background noise and things like that, but I will try and work past that if I can. So let us watch this. So like if you have a bunch of friends that play Overwatch, if you have a bunch of friends that play Paladin, play Paladin. Play what makes you happy if you want to pay for a game. Overwatch is a really great game. It's a lot of fun and there are a lot of people that do play it. So I mean there's constantly somebody there to play. Yeah, it is. So uh, good commentary from my friend Haley there. Um, but looking at the comp right now, we have Haley on um, Mercy support. I know that is her main. And I think if she has her VOD, I will be VOD reviewing her gameplay as well as Mercy. Um, I think she ends up switching to somebody else um, either later on in this game or in another pug that we played this day. Um, Anna is on Junkrat. That is definitely one of her mains as well. White Star is a tank main, if I remember correctly. So he is going with Hog for the moment. Uh, Tom is one of our newer friends. Uh, I remember when he was on my team, he was uh, a DPS main. So right now, given this comp, um, we still need one more tank and we still need one more healer. Um, so at this point, um, speaking of the meta, if White Star were to stick with Hog, we would want you to go with some kind of a main tank. So a main tank would be, generally speaking, a tank that has a shield. Uh, that would be Orisa, um, that would be Reinhardt, and that would be Winston. Winston, for me personally, would be a horrible choice here, just because um, Hog cannot really protect Winston. Um, Winston generally works only with D.Va and Zarya, because those are the two tanks that can kind of either D.Va can follow Winston and uh, um, and make sure that he can kind of do what he needs to do and get out. Uh, Zarya can bubble him and give him a couple seconds of protection that he wouldn't normally have. Um, so in this situation, I would go with either Arissa or Reinhardt down here. Um, if I were to go a tank, if I were to go a healer, um, honestly, any healer would work great with um, Haley's Mercy here. So a Moira, a Zenyatta, a Lucio, a an Anna, a Brigitte, um, or Baguette as we like to call them in our group of friends. Any of them would be a good choice here as well. Um, so yeah, yeah. So let's see what happens in that. They worked with the Breast Cancer Re Research Foundation, and they collected donations. There's a bunch of streamers that uh, were raising money for it as well. You bought the skin for Mercy, which is, um, I'll show you, maybe. Damn it. I wasn't fast enough. Um, so, I mean. Okay, so now we have kind of an issue here. Now, I know that she's still talking. Totally cool. Haley's on a diatribe about Overwatch and games and fun stuff like that. But um, we have three people on DPS right now. This is like, like this is why for me personally, it is so important that everyone needs to learn how to flex. There's zero reason that Reaver really should have picked Tracer here. Um, again, these games are not about winning. These games are about having fun and they're about getting better. Um, and when your team goes triple DPS or it goes something completely off meta with a Torbjorn, a Symmetra, you know, a troll pick, maybe you're going to have a little bit of fun, but you're legitimately going to frustrate your team. And why frustrate your friends? Like, why do that to them? You know, um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but hopefully one of these three DPS here will go either tank or go, um, healer. So let's, let's continue on and see what happens. I don't know if Paladin does anything like that, but Overwatch does do the occasional things like that. Blizzard in general does, uh, great things with different kind of organizations such as the Breast Cancer, uh, Research Foundation. Look at you, Mama, my tank god. Team Fortress 2 is cool and all, but even Team Fortress 2 froze to move to Overwatch. There can only be one class 
base shooter and it's Overwatch. Okay, you want Brigitte. I don't agree with cool. That, okay. So you got your two healers. You only have Ryan as a tank and you have three DPS right now. So this is so you're a little far behind. Um, you're using your armor pack off cooldown. Just as an FYI, um, that armor goes away after a few seconds. But I like using it off cooldown, to be honest. Okay, so someone's flanking you on the right. Um, all right, so I'm going to pause you there. Um, let's see. I probably can't rewind this just how I would want to. But you... Um, were really extremely lucky that you survived what your movements were there. So you went to point and then you kind of circled back around and you put your back to the enemy. Um, now I know you're trying to go for the mercy or whoever that was. And that was, I don't know if you got the stun in or not, but it was very ballsy, but in general, um, you put yourself in a really sticky situation there. You um, put your back to the enemy where a decent DPS um, could just completely wreck you before you were able to get into this little room here with uh, White Star playing Reinhardt. But let's see what happens. Thank you, Warwich, for that host. How are you doing today? You're probably... But either way, thank you, thank you so very much for that host. Oh, my God. Oh, that combo is so annoying. Okay, so your Reinhardt just went down there. Um, it's probably best that you did die where you did, because once your Reinhardt went down, um, and it looks like somebody else went down behind you, this fight is pretty much lost. Um, so it's probably a good thing that you just straight up died here. Um, but yeah, this is why only having one tank is such... Uh, detriment to your team right now um, the fact that as soon as your one tank goes down your team is going to completely collapse on itself let's see what happens let's see if people pull out of this all right let's watch your kill feed here so winston is diving your back line yeah you were you there was nothing you could do there wow and they are just cleaning up on you now And I don't know if you want AFK or not, Kent. <laughs> Riveting gameplay here, guys. All right, so your team is was kind of completely unaware of what was going on there. So White Star's getting some good kills on the Diva, from what I can see in the the feed. Now, okay, so. Now, I know that you're not like 100% focused in on this game, obviously. You just spent the last 15 seconds in spawn. Why walk out to the map right now? This is where you need to look at your kill feed in the top right corner. Um, if your team is almost all dead right now, what are you going to do as one person against six other people? At this point, you probably should just continue to wait and spawn and wait for the rest of your team to get respawned. So that way you can all push together as six people. Okay. So you kind of realize that you probably shouldn't have been there. And let me pause you there. All right. So you keep walking back to spawn with your back to the enemy. You have a shield. That's the thing with Brigitte. She has a shield. You can put the shield up. You can use your S key to walk backwards and you can, you know, um, essentially use your shield to try and prevent yourself from getting blown up by the Pharah that's trying to blow you up right now. Um, so keep that in mind. Try to always keep your focus on where you think the enemy is and then you walk using your WASD keys so that you can stay pointed in that direction and kind of walk back. Um, putting your back to your enemy is the worst thing you can do because there's literally nothing you can do to defend yourself at that point. That is exactly what I would want. I want you to do that. Now, I know you don't 
know the map super duper well, but yeah, that's what I want you to do. I don't. Alright, now you guys are all grouped up, so that's good. And you're 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 yeah. You're you're way behind your team. I know that you gotta you gotta do that vape nation stuff, but you your team is dying because they're not you're not with them. And I think Put your shield up. Okay. That was close. So at that point, you need to spam your E key. You need to give your teammates armor at that point. That fight was pretty much lost, though, to be honest. Um, I really doubt that you were going to do anything in that fight. But, yeah. So there we go. Unfortunate round. So, um, it is what it is. Um, it didn't help that your team was like three, had three DPS and only one tank. So, that's not your fault. But, um, this is why I don't like playing with people who are stubborn and who decide that they will never play anything but a certain role or a certain character. So, um, but I know that you are not that stubborn. You are always willing to try out different things. So, yeah. And I think you want AFK again. Yeah, I can do. I could do Lucio booping if you want. Yeah, it sounds good. With friends. Ow. Wait, I heard. I so something to put out there. Um, I know that for this game, what's his face, uh, White Star was the team captain, and he's literally doing zero talking in this game. He really should be like saying, hey, we need somebody to go tank. We need somebody to do this, do that. I, maybe he just didn't feel comfortable doing so, um, given the fact that this is like a game with friends. I don't know. But this team needs some sort of a voice to help them figure out what they need to do. Um, and it's they're not getting it at all. And it's really unfortunate. Um, so... Yeah, but Lucio is fine here, uh, so we'll see how your Lucio play is. I heard something. That was someone did a thing. Okay, so you can only heal and you can only speed boost people who are near you. You'll see that little that circle around you. You are flanking around the enemy, which is fine in some instances, but. Your entire team needs your help, and you're not with them. Um, this is bad. You're essentially saying you think you can go around the side, flank the enemy team, and win this whole thing by yourself right now. Probably not the smartest way to go about it, but let's see what happens. I can't get you, Ryan. Right now you're going to their spawn. I don't know why. Oh, my word. That was close. Thank you for the hostess, Rever. Looks Wait, like I killed you. Do you. that or no? Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, so stay with your team. I really need you to just stay with your team. Um, there we go. Okay, here's here's good. You're staying with your team. You're staying with your team. Okay, you're healing. That's good. That's good. Um, you are not with your team now. So something that a lot of people don't realize. With your healing ability, it does not go through barriers. So you saw that Winston bubble that was sitting there just now. If they are on the inside of the bubble and you're on the outside of the bubble, they will not get your healing. If you're on the inside of the bubble and they and your uh, team is on the outside of the bubble, they still will not get your healing. Keep that in mind. You have to... Barriers will prevent you from being able to heal your team. The same goes for Zenyatta's trans, uh, Transcendence Ultimate. Same goes for, um, I believe, Moira cannot left-click through barriers, I believe. Um, and um, 
Yeah, and Lucio cannot heal through barriers as well. So keep that in mind. You got separated from your team. Um, not that you could have done a whole heck of a lot there because um, uh, Trash Panda and his Tracer, you can't out heal that Pulse Bomb. So there wasn't much you could do there, unfortunately. But um, yeah, yeah, just keep that in mind. Oh my god, these guys are... I don't... I, I'm a shit player, guys. We get... No, so don't be down on yourself you're level 77 this is your very first you know first person shooter game these are all things that just take time i have over 300 hours of competitive play in overwatch i've played hundreds and hundreds of hours of counter-strike and other fps competitive games before as well so don't be down on yourself. I know it's frustrating to lose and it's frustrating to be in a situation where it feels like you're getting trounced, which is unfortunate. Um, but hopefully this video will kind of teach you what you can do to get better, to have more fun. Um, ultimately, uh, your team just didn't have any cohesion at this point. Your team is um, has no leadership and it's and it's and it's showing it's showing right now um the experienced people on your team should be stepping up and saying hey we need another tank hey we need this we need that hey guys group up and there's none of that right now and it's frustrating because you you don't know what to do right now it's because apple juice on their team he's a really good statistician okay you should go to heals right now you need to heal your team hit shift please hit shift hit shift oh god okay uh yeah that was too late and i'm gonna probably kill you here if i remember correctly yeah <laughs> okay that's unfortunate Okay, you need to go heals now. There, okay. You need to stop running in front of your tanks. You need to stay with your team. I know you really want to just go in there and kill somebody, but your as Lucio, what makes you such a good character in this game is the fact that you can amplify everything that your team is doing. You can make them move faster, you can give them a ton of health. And right now you've completely separated yourself from your team and now you're essentially a tracer who can't really kill anything. So this is just something don't feel bad about it it happens i've seen so many lucios do this but right now you're doing almost nothing for your team to help them win right now you need to stay with your team keep everyone inside that circle stay behind the shield stay alive and then you know and then you can just hit your left click and try and do a little bit of damage to people outside of your death ball so yeah okay Apple Jew is like too good. Okay, so I'm not that good. Again, there was zero reason for you to be over there. You really should not have been over there. If you had stayed behind your Reinhardt, you would have survived. You would have kept your team alive. Um, you are a healer. You are a support. You should not be going over there. Once again, looking at your team comp here, you really shouldn't have three DPS right now. That is your main problem. And there's the only communication I'm hearing is people saying, I can't do this. I'm getting flanked. Just a lot of complaining rather than anyone saying, hey, can we get another tank? Can we maybe get something to counter their tracer? Can we get this, that, or the other? Now, if you look at our team, we have two healers. We have two tanks. We also have two tanks that work really well together. We have a dive competition or competition uh composition with the um winston and the diva um we have two healers we have a mercy we have a zenyatta um and we have two dps a farah and a tracer 
this is more honestly has to do with team composition, cohesion, and leadership than it does the skill of any of the players in this game, to be honest. They've, they've walked it. They've actually walked. I can't. I can't counter. Yeah, I'm gonna try to walk. You can counter us. I think we can though. I've got on their team. It's not gonna make it Three of them ult me. Four of them ult me. Sorry. Uh, sorry, they four of them counter me. I can't do nothing about it. Right, we need to jump in. Oh, we can. That's it. So I'll still. Ah. So unfortunate. That was an unfortunate one. Um, it is what it is. Um. People saying that they can't counter it. There's, uh, let me see if I can get to the final team screen. I will tell you exactly how you can, how you can counter this. So this is our team here. Um, we're running a classic dive composition. Uh, yeah, why well, can't words are hard, guys? Um, dive composition. Uh, it's very, very just. This is old school, several seasons ago. Very, very counterable. But it requires your team to switch the things that they probably wouldn't be comfortable with. If you guys had run Azaria as your second tank um, instead of running 3 DPS, if you had a McCree and then you had a Reaper, now you had the Reaper, you had the McCree, but you had a third DPS that, you know, um, that just couldn't do anything against this. And if you had instead had a Brigida, um, a Mercy, and maybe also a Zenyatta or, you know, who knows, um, you would easily be able to counter this. And if you had stuck together as a team, you guys constantly kept getting split apart. And um, it, it honestly, it ended up making this game, unfortunately, really, really easy. Um, what I will say is uh, this was a fun um first try at reviewing a game um i'm gonna go ahead and go to my face here hi guys i'm back um but i'm going to look at the other um pickup game that we did and um probably review that one instead this game was too much of a rickroll honestly we um that it's going to be hard to learn a lot from this game um but my main things to you kent are this um Stick with your team. Um, if you can't see your team, you're too far away. Um, if you want to be that guy who is going to race ahead, try and flank around the enemy, try to be the guy who kills the enemy team, uh, then you should start trying to learn characters like Genji, Tracer, um, Widowmaker, uh, McCree, Soldier 76, um, and even some of those characters, you still have to stay stick somewhat close together. Um, but uh, as a healer, a healer needs to stay with his team. A healer needs to be in the thick of his team. Um, and you just kept on kind of going off on your own path. And uh, that's why it was so easy for me to kill you. It wasn't because I'm good. It wasn't because I'm some amazing Zenyatta. Because I'm really not. I'm not some amazing Zenyatta. I, I'm sure I get some good shots here and there. The majority of my skill comes from the fact that I stay with my team. I know decent positioning and um, I don't let myself get caught into situations where my team cannot help me and I can't help my team. Uh, that's when you become essentially a free kill, a useless player on your team because a team is about being helping each other win. And in all those situations, I had my diva next to me. I was able to heal the person killing you while helping them kill you. Things like that. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, uh, again, I am going to pick a. Um, I'm going to pick a, another game that hopefully is a little bit more of a close game than this one was. And. Um, yeah, and hopefully I can get better at making this content. And if you have any suggestions in the comments, uh, if you have anything I may have missed uh, in terms of, of mistakes and things like that, please put them in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed 
Mr. Kent Hyde's um, stream uh, from this VOD. I will include a link in the description below on my YouTube video. And um, if you enjoyed my content, if you enjoy me, um, I will also include a link to my Twitch as well. So with all that, guys, it was a pleasure. Uh, hopefully I will continue to get better and better at doing these. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.